Hi everyone and welcome to a new reading slash life vlog. Today I thought I would take you through a little week in my life. Um, this is exam week for me so it's been a little bit hectic but also really chill because we've had a few snow days and um, Martin Luther King Day and we have like an in-service day on Friday. So I don't want to like title this exam week because I'm really have like a minimal amount of studying to do because we've had so many days off and stuff um, and most of my exams are done by the time I'm filming this. So, so I'm gonna just take you along while I do some other things this week like rehearsal and shopping with a friend for some gifts for people um, and things like that. And of course I'll be sharing what I'm reading and all of that good stuff. So I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. Please excuse my disgusting car. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently on my way to the gym because I have a boxing session and then I'm going to go pick up Max and we are going to head to the slopes and get a few hours of snowboarding and skiing in and then I have a dance tonight and that'll be it for the day. So I'll take you along as I do this little uh, excursion. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> On my way with Max. Hi, Max. Hi. <laughs> and we're about to go snowboarding and skiing. Hopefully, it's not too crowded. Although I have a feeling it's going to be like pretty bad today since today was a snow day for us. Um, I see like ten people. Oh, yeah. Although we're looking. It opened like twenty minutes. Ago, right. So. We think that we got here early enough that we might be kind of lucky, but we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Zoom. We have to make zooming noises to add Zoom. to the effect. Do it again. Zoom. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm currently uh, just sort of getting myself ready for this weekend in terms of like cleaning my room, things like that. So um, I thought I would share quickly what I've been reading. And right now I've been reading the series Benedict Society and the Riddle of Ages. This is um, the final installment in the Mysterious Benedict Society series. And so I recently started this and I'm just so excited to get back into this world and finish it up. So um, I'm hoping that as soon as I finish this, I can watch the TV show. I believe it's on Disney Plus. So I might just steal Max's uh, password and account and maybe binge watch that show for a bit. <laughs> Other than that, I've been also slowly making progress on um, Crescent City. And then I'm hoping to start Into the Wild soon. So if you watched my last video about the my TBR or whatever for February, I'm making good progress so far. So you guys should all be very proud of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, tonight's just kind of a chill night in. Um, I'm gonna do some more organizing, getting myself sort of set up for uh, this weekend and this next week of school. And yeah, I'm hoping to do some organizing, things like that, just because I feel like I always have so much clutter in my room. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to sort of start to pare things down a little bit. Anyway, I am hoping to film um, maybe one or two videos this weekend. Uh, I'm hoping to test out this tripod and maybe do another journaling video or something like that. We'll see. But yeah, that's my update for now. <laughs> So I'm still here with Kirsten. I've spent too much time with her today. Oh, wow. Anyway, um, I'm just dropping her off now. We went to Goodwill, went to coffee, went to lunch. We shopped for some people that we needed to shop for. Secrets. Yes, we did. Secrets. So anyway, I'm dropping her off now. And then I have a voice lesson later and probably going to go see Max for a bit. So. Ew. Oh, and we saw way too many people. Yeah, we so. saw, we somehow ran into like eight people from school. Oh yeah, and we had a lunch date with a uh, special guest Lainey Wilhelm. Yes, love her. Kirsten does too. Depending on the day. <laughs> anyway, talk to you later. Hey guys, so I just got back from shopping all day with Kirsten. We had some gifts to get, and we also stopped by Goodwill and the local bookstore, so I thought I'd give just a little bit of a haul of what we got, or what I got. Um, I somehow managed to not buy an actual book today. And I believe I deserve a round of applause for that. I did, however, spend um, some uh, money on gifts from the bookstore. So I got them a journal and some other things like that. But other than that, we went to Goodwill 
and I got some really fun stuff so I'm going to share that now. So the first thing that I got was this really cool like green bag and usually I'm not like a bag type of person but this was literally like five dollars and I think it's just like the coolest like 70s design ever. So I was very excited to find this and I'm hoping to get some use out of it. So yeah, that was what I got from the accessory section. <laughs> and the second thing that I got, and if you guys don't know, I love skirts, like long flowy skirts. And so I found this really cool like pink and green like pattern of this like knee length skirt. And I don't know, I think it'd be really cool with like, I don't know, like a white tank top or something. Um, and yeah, I just, I love really cool and unique skirts and stuff. So I picked this up and thought, why not? Uh, the next thing I got was just a regular white tank top that I needed just as like a basic thing. Um, and then I also got this really cool shirt that I think I'm going to use, um, like when I go to the beach and stuff, just like over whatever swimsuit I'm wearing. And it's this cool little like blue crop top, I think. And I just really liked the ruffle design and I thought it felt good. So why not? And the final thing that I got is one of the things that I'm most excited about. However, it's something that I'm going to have to kind of work with. Um, and that is this really cool, like, fake leather, like, tan jacket. Um, the only thing is it's a little bit dirty. <laughs> like, it has some weird marks and stuff on it. So I'm definitely going to try and, like, hand wash it. And if it doesn't come out, I'll go and, like, dry clean it or whatever. But, um, no, I saw this and thought it was, like, a really cool find. Especially because I love jackets and, like, sweaters and stuff. So I picked it up and was like, why not? So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got from today. Um, other than the gifts and stuff that I bought. And yeah, tomorrow I have a drama rehearsal for my school's drama club and I'm hoping to finish up the Mysterious Benedict Society book that I'm reading. Don't know if I'll get to like the whole thing, but hopefully I can make some progress on that and hopefully start Into the Wild. I just realized I'm I'm matching my wall. <laughs> um, it is currently Sunday and it is absolutely horrible outside. The roads are terrible. I almost like went into a skid earlier today. So I have just been spending the evening reading and getting a little bit further in both the Mysterious Benedict Society as well as Crescent City. So I'm hoping to finish um, this one sometime this week as well. I know my goal was to finish it by today, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, so I'm just chilling out, getting some reading done, and I will let you know if I start anything else or what I decide to do with the rest of my week. I am currently on page 104, and I am a little more, or maybe like about a quarter of the way through, um, maybe a little bit more than that. And so far I'm loving it just like all of the other ones. I think I definitely should have reread all of them before starting this book just to like have all of the characters fresh in my mind, but that's okay and I'm still enjoying it, so. One thing I do have to say for this book series is the art at the beginning of each chapter is always so cool and all of the chapter names are very like interesting and just like cool you know and they usually have some sort of clue as to what the chapter is about so like if you go to the beginning and like all of the uh, breakdowns of like the table of contents like some of them are just so cool like bright signals in dark places or melancholy musings and rueful ruminations like that is like the coolest chapter title ever like plazas playgrounds and parts unknown like what is that and <laughs> why but like look at this art like isn't that just the coolest thing ever good morning everyone i have finally finished the mysterious benedict society and the riddle of ages this took me way too long to finish to be completely honest and unfortunately that was because i really was not that into it um this is definitely a series that i read when i was younger so i think i forgot a lot about like the dynamics between them um between the characters it definitely still was a really well written book and I definitely enjoyed being sort of back um in the world of the Mysterious Benedict Society and like getting to see the characters again and stuff like that I do think I would have enjoyed it more if I had reread all of the books before it but overall three out of five stars um definitely a middle grade book but really cute and well done 
Um, I did not like it as much as like some of the other books in the series. I think the first one will always and forever be my favorite, but this one we kind of got to go back to like the setting of the first book, so that was really fun. Um, but yeah, overall I think this was a great way to wrap up the series and I'm definitely going to check out the Disney Plus series as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, so that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it was like a little bit all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed this like week in my life. If you'd like to see more of them, let me know. Um, it was really fun to make. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.